Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Cancers I am here to do just you know a little bonus read. I wanted to check into your guys's energy and just spend some time with you right. See what's going on around you. Um, this reading is for the collective so it's not going to resonate with all of you. Please please just take what does resonate and leave what doesn't because we don't want you trying to force it into your world okay. And thank you, Cancers, uh, for everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Your likes, subscribes, those are huge, huge. Um, the uh, shares, the donations, your comments, I love you all. Um, Belisima Luna, I love you. Jackie, Seven, you guys are just wonderful. I love you all so much. Um, Dale, geez, I haven't talked to you in forever. Anyway, um, all right. So guys, just wanted to check your energy tonight. Seeing what's, oof. Somebody's heartbroken over you. Possible king of swords here. Um, wanting to communicate. I feel like they want to have this victory with you, but you're standing in your strength, standing in your power. You could even have this person blocked, actually. Um, but yeah, this is someone who put you in a third party situation, but they're feeling heartbroken now. I feel like this person knows that they chose poorly. They can't stop thinking about you, Cancer. Um, remembering a time when they had you right there, but they were more focused on other things at the time than they were on you. And honestly, I don't think they really, really saw you, you know, for who you really are. Um, and they're regretting, I feel, um, walking away from you in this third party. They, they can't seem to stop thinking about you. They're heartbroken here. Um... You guys could have been married in the past, or you could even have kids together. This person could be a bit younger than you. Um, you guys could have been apart for at least three to six years. Um, or, you know, I mean, take it how it resonates for you. I'm just looking at the card. But, um, yeah, they're, they're thinking about that love you gave. They're thinking about how... Um, they haven't been able to find anyone else, I don't think, that gives them the kind of love you do, Cancer. And this person, you know, um, you could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I have to start on my air signs next, which is weird. But, um, yeah, um, this person, the King of Swords, you know, this is like, I kind of see the King of Swords as large and in charge, right? Um very decisive knowing what they want choosing words very carefully though they're very intelligent but they plan their communication um so i feel like this person is getting ready to communicate because they're all about communication here um and they want to have a victory with you so they're really putting in a lot of thought look at how this person is looking down here at these memories you know, what would cancer like? What would work with cancer? What should I say to cancer? Trying to remember you and trying to think of the right way to communicate with you because you're very intuitive, man. This person, huh? You're very intuitive. If they come towards you with any kind of immature communication or flirting, that is not going to work. And this person knows it. That's why they're being careful. Um, yeah, you're going to know, um, yeah, you're not going to deal with that. You've risen above all of this immaturity crap. They know they're going to have to be freaking 100% honest with you. And this is somebody too, the, you know, the king of court, the king of cords, the king of swords, they cut to the chase. Okay. They're not going to sugarcoat stuff. They're not going to blow smoke up your butt, right? Um, so, you know, they know in King of Swords energy, they know they have to come to you with the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. And they need to be clear about it. 
because all this playing around and game playing, they know if they play any games with you, Cancer, in High Priestess energy with the World card, you're gonna you're gonna know about it, and you're gonna like you're gonna be like, I've risen above this. Please go away, like for real, for real. Um, yeah, the energy that they're wanting to communicate with now is. Um, leveled you've leveled up cancer and you're very intuitive um they don't know how they're going to get to the to the flirting stage and i think this king of swords knows not to even freaking try any immature communication not when you're a high priestess who is a graduate of the last cycle yeah, this that's why this intelligent, they're trying to handle this intelligently. <laughs> I like that sentence. They're trying to handle this intelligently. And think of the right words to say, okay? Um, you're a, like a star in this person's eyes. They hold you in very high regard. They're trying to plan a way to come in and schmooze you again, use you, um, use this wand as a male phallic in order to be intimate. This is something that they're kind of trying to plan for. Keep in mind, they're planning for this. I feel like that's their way um, of getting you, you know, pinned, basically. This could be your twin flame soulmate, okay? Um, if not, it's, it's a deep level soulmate connection here, but I think you know this person needs to make a decision in love here. The lover's card actually stands for a decision to make. Could totally be dealing with a Gemini. If you're dealing with a Gemini, yeah, this person's coming in, but they're thinking about their communication. They don't know how to make it past this flirting stage, you know, and get to the passion. That's what they want. They know if they can get to that point, they're back into your life. And you're, you're out here, um, you, I, you could be in the public eye. You could be kind of like having some kind of stardom here, um, glowing really super bright. Sorry about the noises. That's... That's my cat's playing. I don't know what my cat... I, hold on a second. I'm hoping it's not a bum. Hold on. What are you playing with? What is it? An earring. Okay. No. I don't want you to eat the earring, baby. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know what my cat had, and I didn't want her to swallow it. It was an earring, and I didn't want her to swallow it. Anyway, um, um, yeah, you're, you're doing something very important for others. I feel like you're a healer. Um, you're pouring healing energy back into the world, and you're like a guide for other people here. So whatever it is, however it is, you're helping others. And this person holds you really high for this, but that includes your intuition. And your intuition is a threat to this person because they're actually trying to get you into bed. Um, you know, this is just what they're planning. They're planning, plotting, strategizing sex with you, okay? Um, we've got feeling betrayed, maybe, a possible painful ending. Yeah, they're not going to be able to skate by... That's flipped upside down in the deck. Yeah, they, um, they sabotage themselves. See, they see you as an empress, okay? An empress. Look at all your beautiful energy here. They see you as literally everything, right? Every woman in the world. Yeah. Um, they also see your abundance, okay? If you're dealing with an air sign... You know, honestly, I kind of keep thinking that this is a karmic masculine. Even though we have the twin flame soulmate card out here. This person is um, looking at your abundance. They're looking at your growth, your transformation. Um, but they also know that it took them far too long to move on this, right? And now it feels like you're getting away and you've elevated to a point where you're so intuitive and you're so not going to put up with any crap 
they don't know how to come back and start flirting with you in order to get this passion. And they know that they waited too long for, a, for an empress here. You're not going to play any games. You're not. And I feel like, um, you know, this person may feel a little bit betrayed too because you're doing well. I don't see them out here doing well. Um, they could be an opportunist. Okay, this card is very opportunistic. Um, but I think they're planning on getting you into bed because they want that, they want to partake in this Nine of Pentacles, and that's the quickest way to get you all wrapped up in their energy. But they waited too long. They waited too long. Clarify the higher font. All right, so that you and the higher font are connected here, okay? Because you're in um, high priestess energy, and she's like the right hand chicky for the higher font, okay? The higher font tells her the messages, and she retains the messages, okay? Um, so the higher font is out here now. I feel like you're being protected. Um, Yeah, I feel like you're being protected because this person, when they come forward, they're still going to be juggling someone else. You know, this is a king. If they're in, in, if they're a king who's planning for you, they should show up as something better than the Knight of Pentacles. And this person, I feel like um, they may be very low on their money. Um, and possibly juggling someone else, but I've really, I'm really getting like they're they're low on their funds here, and they're having sleepless nights over it. Okay, but see, this is one of the reasons what they're approaching you for a couple things here. One is that you are very abundant, Cancer, financially now, very financially stable, and two is that they they want to use they want passion with you. And this person's, like, they've got so many burdens when it comes to money and finances. I feel like that's one of the things that's keeping them up at night. How do they make you an offer? Because it's already, they've already moved too slow on it. And all of a sudden, you're an empress now with, with all this abundance. And they're nearly broke, okay? Um, they're up all night over this, but this is a lesson that they have to learn. That's why the higher fonts out here. This person's learning their lessons from this. Yeah, it's the end of a cycle. I feel like this person, especially with the intentions that they have, and they believe me, they are heartbroken and and they are having fond memories of you. But this is really the only love out here. The rest is just money and passion, you know, and the fact that your um, intuition is a threat. Guys, get out of my room, please. You're being an annoyance. My cats are literally driving me crazy today. Um, yeah, so... I feel like this cycle is over, man. The cycle's done. It's time for a new cycle to begin. But yeah, they they know they're not going to be able to just get by with flirty kind of crap with you, you know? You're too intuitive and you you you've elevated out. It's like this person wants to try kind of some some kind of um angle that's actually going to work, but that's the problem. There shouldn't have to be an angle. Do you see what I'm saying? They're planning, plotting, strategizing to seduce you, okay? And because of because of your abundance, because they don't have anything. They don't have anything. All right, so, yeah. What else can you show me for this person? And you could be, like I said, you could be dealing with an air sign. Possible Sagittarius, Leo. I feel like the rest is is like your energy here. Um, could be Gemini. 
possible earth sign, air sign, yeah, um, could be an Aquarius. Yeah, I feel like um, they have, here's that Queen of Swords again, and I feel like this Queen of Swords, they're, they're connected to them somehow, but they don't get along, you know. I feel like they, they are still connected with someone else. Yeah, judgment. That thing is, that that's falling apart with this Queen of Swords. That's why she keeps popping up in all your readings, Cancer. It's falling apart with the Queen of Swords and, and this person. So, um, of course, they're going to be angry. They may, they may pop up and want to communicate with you as well here once their situation, because there's closures going on here. Lots of closures, and people are not happy. You know, and, and even for your person's chances with you, that's closing too. The cycle is being closed out on, on everything here. So, yeah, your person, I feel like they're going to miss their opportunity they're dealing, they're in a, this person is in another situation with the, that Queen of Swords. Um, they're being very cold and harsh to each other. Uh, these two cannot communicate very well with each other. They're just too harsh and cold. Okay, um, so that situation's coming to an end. Your person's missing this love situation with you, and they don't have good intentions anyway. That's why the Hierophant is out. The Hierophant is out here protecting you. They're protecting you from this crap because all these people want to do is sabotage you. They just want to sabotage. Yep, this person. If you're dealing, especially if this is an air sign person, maybe, I don't know, it, it's just energy, guys, so I don't want to say that, but this King of Swords, if you feel like this is resonating with you, all right, this King of Swords is plotting, planning, strategizing to come in and just have passion with you. This is a seduction. This is just a seduction because they're broke and you're very stable, okay? And they know they made the wrong choice um, in this third-party situation because they're with the Queen of Swords that's mean to them. They're mean to each other, to be honest with you. Neither one of them are communicating well. Yeah, and here is, the, look, I, maybe you have, I've got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands here. So you could already have someone new. What's this all about? You know, you could already have someone. If not, Cancer, you've got a King of Wands possibly coming towards you, a possible fire sign who sees you as their match. If this isn't you guys already, I don't, I don't know who these people popped out from, so let's take a look, shall we? Who are these people? This could be your energy here, the sexiest queen in the deck. You're coming out as the um, empress and possibly the queen of wands, but there's a queen of uh, king of wands here that is just wants to be stuck by your side. You guys came out together. So I don't know if you already have someone new or if this person is just obsessed about being by your side. Who is this King of Wands and Queen of Wands? Please clarify, Divine. King of Wands, maybe somebody who is out in the cold. Um, or maybe they've watched you out in the cold. This could be a Sagittarius or a Leo. They may have had player energy in the past. You've got a couple people here thinking about you, Cancer. This person wants to come in and show you love, too. Now, who is this? Is This could be somebody that you were married to before. Okay? Or um, committed to before in the past. Totally. They could still see you as their mate. So you've got two people out here. 
One is with the Queen of Swords and one wants you. I, I, they both want you. Um, one wants to come and tell you how they feel about you. I feel like this fire sign's coming in. Yeah, they have a lot of love for you here, but they haven't shown you or told you that you would have no way of knowing. But this person, perhaps it was some, someone you were with before, maybe, but they want to be at, they see you as being theirs. For, for them to come out with you like this, together like this, they see you as being theirs. Um, I think this person wants to come in and tell you how they feel. I'm getting, you know, a lot of... This could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So both of these people, you've got two people I feel from your past that want to come back in, Cancer. I think, you know, if this is resonating, you're going to know if this reading is for you or not. One let you go for a third party situation and there was somebody who's just, they cannot communicate well with at all. And then this one just is stuck with you. They're stuck at your side. Um, they feel like you belong with them. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. You're going to hear from this person. They're, they're getting ready to make you an offer, come and tell you how they feel about you. I feel like they're very nervous, very nervous about this. They may not know how you're going to react because you've been doing your own thing here. You've been following your own passions and happiness and being beautiful taking good care of yourself you know so and this person they don't show you or tell you how they feel so this is going to come as quite a surprise quite a surprise when this person comes in because I don't think you know that they feel this way but they really um are very they're quite possessive of you this could be something someone that you were married to before in the past and um and that foundation failed they're coming back around i feel like that this is beginning stage stuff and then they start telling you how they feel like maybe they're calling for a truce here some kind of truce or you may get a text message or something it'll be pleasant Yeah, but they see you as being theirs. You're the queen of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you guys were married once before or committed in, in some kind of commitment before. And you have no idea that they feel this way about you. I think this is something that has ended a long time ago. Yeah, and they've been very burdened about this. They're, this person wants to tell you how they feel about you. They've been carrying this around for a long time. Who's this, Cancer? So you've got two people from your past here that want you. One is being tied up here with the Queen of Swords. Another one I don't see is committed to anyone here. And they are like kind of, they're very possessive of you. They see you as being... That's it. You belong. They belong next to you. I don't know how to quite describe that. And they've been carrying this burden along with them for years, possibly up to nine years. I feel like this is someone that you were possibly committed to in the past, whether it's a fire sign or not. Yeah, this person, they're not walking away from this. Or maybe they feel like they can't walk away from this. Yeah, maybe they feel like they can't walk away. You guys could have some kind of, like maybe you have children together or something. Or maybe they're just, they just can't seem to walk away from you. They don't want to walk away. All right, one more for Cancer and then we'll go. I just wanted to check the energies, Cancer, but dang. Yeah, this is, I feel like this is someone you could have shared a home with before, maybe up to like 9 or 10 years ago, maybe. 
they've been carrying this burden. They've been carrying a torch for you for a while, Cancer, and you don't even know. You don't even know, Cancer. Sorry, I'm roasting, guys. I've got to, like, roll up my sleeves. You don't even know. But they're coming in to tell you. It might start off slow, a slow, easy approach, something small, but then I feel like this person is going to tell you how they feel, man. They, they don't want to walk away from you. Yeah. What am I telling it? Look, Sagittarius could be a Sagittarius. Leo, Sagittarius, maybe up here we've got air signs. Aquarius possibly, uh, you know, I mean, it's all energy, guys. The signs really are not that big of a deal, but they're, it's the energy, you know. So anyway, Cancers, yeah, you've got two people from your past coming forward. They, they want you. Um, one wants you for really crappy reasons. The other one, they've had feelings for you for years, and you don't even know it. So get ready, Cancer. Communication is coming in from two, okay? Anyway, guys, this has been your bonus reading for tonight. I really just wanted to pop in because I love you guys. Um, so listen, if you like this video, please go ahead, click the like button, and subscribe if you haven't already. Those are the two biggest ways you can help the readers, okay? And until next time, Cancers, know that I love you. And take care of you, and peace out.